All right, guys, we back with another video. Uh, we're checking out Sinister's Fade to Black. Um, don't know how this is going to sound. We listened to his last song, uh, Only Death is Real, and wasn't the craziest fan of it. We didn't end up like uploading the reaction or whatever just because like, I still enjoy Sinister a lot. I just don't want to be like posting like negative stuff on the channel and whatnot, even though like I'm... I'm just giving you like a short version. Um, just wasn't my type of song. Because uh, I'm not a metal. I'm not a metal heavy guy. Um, I know this is trap metal. So we're going to check it out. Uh, but obviously if you're looking for like a metal fan reaction. Typically I'm not the guy. I do like some metal. I'm just a picky guy. Well, let's get into it. This one's called Fade to Black. Got heavier volume. All right, all right. Right off the rip, enjoyed this one a lot better than I did with the uh, last one. Um, only death is real. Uh, my gripe with death was real was I didn't like the set like the sudden beat switches. I mentioned in the video that I didn't even post that I'm just not a fan of that kind of style. Like you know, like I like to vibe out to the song not like sudden change like be all over the place you know what i mean like this one was constant uh it didn't have that those sudden beat changes um i don't like it when anybody artist does it um it's not just a sinister thing um because he doesn't do it often but it was just one of those rare ones that he did that i just wasn't too crazy on like i'm already like trying to enjoy the metal aspect uh even though i'm a rap fan, rap first fan uh so like it was just it was just hard to get into um but i understand like i respect what he was trying to do like like give you like layers of the the metal essentially um but yeah like uh um going back to this one fade to black though um i like that he put a parentheses well 
he put like brackets around trap metal. Um, this helped identify what the song was right away. Um, for those that don't know, he's looking into changing how he approaches his music. Uh, keep his sinister music, sinister name for like the rap heavy stuff, the rap metal heavy stuff. Rap first, metal second style. Um, whereas his, he's going to have like other channels dedicated to like metal the metal fans and whatnot so i think it's cool he does it um i think it'll be better for his brand um like you're getting into sinister you know what you're getting into but at the same time it's just like if you're for him because of the rapper the rap heavy side and the metal influence in it um like some of the songs that are more metal heavy aren't gonna cater to you and that's kind of like my approach um I do like some of his metal stuff, um, but like, what turns me on to Sinister's music is his metal with, uh, or his rap trap style with the metal influence in it. Uh, I think it's dope. He does it. I think it makes him unique. Sets him apart from the rest of the brand, uh, rest of the artists out there. So uh, that's my reason. That's my opinion. Um, take what you want with it uh but i enjoyed this one uh for being a trap metal song and you know, thought it was pretty solid um definitely got the metal influence it's it was more on the metal heavy heavier side but uh you could definitely hear the trap in it um but like i said it does the, the instrumental was constant the whole time so it was in, it was more enjoyable to listen to and whatnot um but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's saying a lot for me. I guess I'm not as big of a metal fan. Uh, I just like certain metal songs. I'm just picky when it comes to it. Like I said, I'm rap influenced, you know what I mean? So, uh, definitely liked it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments section, though. But that's going to do it for this one. Peace.